Between the late evening of February 24, 1942, and the early morning hours of February 25th, the City of Angels went into a state of panic as what were initially believed to be German or Japanese enemy aircraft were spotted over the city. Taking place on the heels of the Pearl Harbor bombing, and just one day after a confirmed submarine attack off the Santa Barbara coast, the UFO sighting touched off a massive barrage of anti-aircraft fire with some 1,400 shells shot into the skies above Los Angeles and lasting the better part of the evening. Many people believe the aircraft were extraterrestrial, with one eyewitness even describing an object he's seen as looking like an enormous flying lozenge, and some accusing the government of a cover-up especially after conflicting accounts of the incident from the Navy and War Department. As if to confirm public fears of extraterrestrial attack, one famous LA Times photograph emerged from the incident showing an ominous, saucer-like object hovering over the city. This much-debated photograph inspired America's first major UFO controversy a full five years before Roswell. And now for news of our own West Coast, we take you to Los Angeles and the report of Byron Palmer. Anti-aircraft guns went into action against unidentified aircraft in the Los Angeles area shortly after 3 a.m. Pacific War Time this morning. The anti-aircraft guns began barking during a blackout ordered by the 4th Interceptor Command at 2.25 a.m. The unidentified object which some sources thought might be a blimp, moved slowly down the Pacific coast from Santa Monica and disappeared south of Long Beach. Army officials declined to comment on the possibility that the object might have been a blimp. However, it required nearly 30 minutes to travel some 25 miles, far slower than an airplane. Watchers on the rooftop of the Columbia Broadcasting Building in the heart of Hollywood could plainly see the flashes of guns and searchlights sweeping the skies in a wide arc along the coastal area. Concussion of the shells could be felt in downtown Los Angeles, 15 miles away. U.S. Army planes quickly took to the dark skies, but whether they contacted the object has not been announced. Army officials say they will not comment until they receive a full report of the action. Although some watchers say they saw airplanes in the air, Semi-official sources say they probably were the U.S. Army's pursuit. Several observers say they saw one or more planes spotlighted by 20 or 30 searchlights. The object moved southward, presumably over Huntington Park at the western edge of Los Angeles, and on southward to about Long Beach on the coast. By 3.30 a.m., observers said the object appeared to be over the south of Long Beach. Searchlights closely followed the object down the coast, and kept it centered in their glare. Shells frequently could be seen bursting near the object, but none appeared to hit it. The shooting stopped about 3.30 a.m. The shooting brought warfare to the front door of this city of a million and a quarter population for the first time since December 7th. Already it was alert to the presence off the Southern California coast of a Japanese submarine which had pumped 25 shells into an oil field north of Santa Barbara Monday evening. Because of the presence of the submarine, a three-hour alert was ordered at...